Vice President Kamala Harris and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz are gaining momentum in several key states now in the race for the White House. This new Democratic ticket just completed its first busy week on the campaign trail. ABC's Christian Cordero with the latest now from Washington. Today, after a week of rallies in key states, momentum is swinging back towards the Democratic ticket. A New York Times Siena poll shows Vice President Kamala Harris has a four point edge on former President Donald Trump in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan within the margin of error. Harris is expected to unveil her economic plans in the coming days. When I am president, we will continue our fight for working families of America. Including to raise the minimum wage and eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. Trump responding, she copied my no taxes on tips policy. We will pass massive tax cuts for workers, and that includes no tax on tips. Something he's promised for months. Also on social media, Trump is pushing false claims that Harris used artificial intelligence to create images of fake crowds. That's not true. Thousands of people have attended her rallies, including 15,000 here in Phoenix, where running mate Minnesota Governor Tim Walz took a jab at the former president. It's not as if anybody cares about crowd sizes or anything. So. <laughs> Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, is pushing immigration reform as a top campaign issue. Trump has vowed mass deportations. ABC's John Carl pressed Vance to elaborate. I think it's interesting that people focus on, well, how do you deport 18 million people? Let's start with 1 million. That's where Kamala Harris has fa failed, and then we can go from there. Both campaigns will be on the road later this week. Trump in North Carolina and Harris, too, after a stop in Maryland with President Biden. And the Democratic National Convention kicks off one week from today. In Washington, Christiane Cordero, Channel 6 Action News.